Low value man versus high value man. Key differences. In this video, we are going to take a look at the key differences between a low value man versus a high value man. We all want a high value man in our lives. An example, someone who is strong, encouraging, and charming. It is because whether these types of men are our friends or our romantic partners, they tend to make our lives better and it is a matter of joy to be around them. So it is really important to identify how you can identify one. But before we move any further, we would like to tell you that we make these videos for free. Please show some support to us by subscribing to our channel and hitting the notification bell. Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Now that we are all set, let's get into the key differences between a low value man and a high value man. One, organization of his daily tasks. This perhaps is the biggest difference between a low value man and a high value man. A high value man organizes his daily tasks well. He has a fixed set of routines he follows. An example, there is some regularity as to the time he wakes up, exercises, and manages his other tasks of the day. A low value man, on the other hand, is extremely disorganized. He seldom has a fixed routine, which is why his energy levels during the day are constantly going up and down. He has almost no control over his daily routines, ranging from the time he wakes up to the time he has his meals or the amount of time he dedicates toward his craft. 2. Vision Towards a Long-Term Goal A high-value man is working towards a long-term goal all the time. Maybe he has planned to complete a book a few years down the line or is looking for his company to grow in a certain way and is working accordingly. These long-term plans help him set up a daily routine to achieve such a goal. A low-value man doesn't have a vision and is not working towards one. You can see such a person switching from one job to another. This means that he doesn't gain a significant amount of skill or experience at a particular work and can't move forward economically or socially. 3. Diet and Exercise It is often said that we are what we eat and eating healthy food gives us the energy to go about our daily chores in an efficient way. And that's what high-value men are. But a low-value man doesn't really care about his diet, so you can often see him bordering on the edge of being overweight. This makes him quite lethargic. You can see them yawning quite regularly, and that saps down your energy levels as well. Another reason why you see high-value men energetic is the fact that they take care of their physical body by exercising. It does not mean that these people are involved in rigorous gym activities, having a bulky body, but they find time for things such as walking or running or working out without equipment because the more you exercise, the higher levels of energy you have. 4. Empathy and Compassion In the world of low-value men, empathy and compassion are lacking. They don't really care about the feelings of others. So in a situation that is unjust, you can see a low-value man being indifferent about it. He would only raise his voice when the injustice affects him personally. But a high-value man raises his concerns about an issue which affects others as well. You can see high-value men being involved in community work more often than low-value ones. You can also see that the former ones are more charitable than the latter ones. 5. Control Factor Another thing that differentiates a high-valued person from a low-valued one is the amount of control they exert over other people. High-valued men are busy trying to better themselves. This gives them time to reflect on their mistakes and work on them. This leaves them less time to be judgmental and therefore doesn't make them people who try to control their girlfriends or wives or close loved ones. But a low-valued man is constantly criticizing others for mistakes while he himself is a puddle of bad choices and no learning curve. He is judgmental and tries to be too bossy to the lives of others. 6. Time spent on social media or cell phone The amount of time we spend using our phones, especially scrolling over social media, can vary from person to person. And this variation curve for a man gives you a cue as to whether he is a low or a high-valued man. A low-valued man wastes too much of his time binge-watching on Netflix or YouTube and spending too much time obsessing over the posts of other people. The time spent on these sites never amounts to anything in the life of a low-valued man. 
A high-valued man knows how to control his impulses to limit the time he spends doing these things. They spend their time on YouTube on consecutive things or are working towards a project by learning from YouTube or Netflix. Yes, there are occasions when they drift onto a social media site more than what we would think of as normal, but those are off days and not representative of their daily behaviors. 7. Validation from Others A high-valued person is confident in his own abilities. He has a friend circle which is highly motivated and better than him at some skills. This gives a highly valued person an idea as to how good they are at something and the way that they can improve themselves. So they don't need validation from every other person they meet. On the other hand, a low valued person is quite insecure and is looking for validation from almost everyone. When a low valued man does something he thinks is good and doesn't get appreciation from others, he believes that his efforts were of no avail. Now that you know the key differences between a high-valued man and a low-valued man, you can identify the traits that will make you a low-valued man and you can start working on your flaws immediately. No person is perfect, and even some high-valued men possess traits that make them low-valued. But if you see a high number of the qualities that we discussed above in a given person, the chances are that he is a low-valued man. And what is the worst trait of a low-valued person you know? Let us know in the comments down below. Also, don't forget to give these videos a thumbs up in case you like it. Also, do subscribe to our channel with the notification bell to not miss out on any new videos. In the meantime, you can watch the video on the screen.